Okay, I've started this video like five times and I am I don't know how to start this. Um, this isn't really one of my regular videos, but I feel as if I need to say something, especially with how many allegations and things are popping up in the YouTube community and just, yeah, I need to say my piece and be done with it. Someone came forward, Anya came forward saying, talking about her story with uh, V1I Jason. Um, I've never really watched his videos at all. Basically, she said that they were hanging out and it, it, it was a YouTuber fan relationship. Well, she was also a YouTuber, but not as large fan base as he had. They were hanging out in either a hotel or her dad's apartment. I'm unclear of what actually happened. But he brought alcohol into the picture and gave it to her. Me realized that she's only 15 years old and he's a 20-year-old man. Let's just get that out there. He gave her alcohol and basically kept giving her alcohol in the hopes of getting her drunk. And his end goal was sex. What he did was wrong. She's a 15 year old girl. She cannot give consent. On top of that, she's drunk, which means she definitely, like, she would not have been able to consent even if she was of legal age. Now, Jason, V1I, he created an apology video, which is at this point in time unlisted. Basically, he apologized, which wasn't really an apology. So, I'm, I don't know why he created this video. I mean, I'm kind of glad that he decided to actually say something about the allegations while Sam Pepper has not said one word about him. In his video, basically he was making excuses. A lot of excuses, which he should have just owned up to it and apologized, but he didn't. He was, t he said stuff about how, like, how he grew up in a Mormon family and that they didn't talk about sex and consent and sexual abuse and all that kind of stuff, but it's kind of common sense that if someone doesn't want to, you don't force them or we try to push them into doing it. Yeah, I'm, there's a word for that but I don't know. I'm like blanking right now. My best friend, um, I'm not sure if she wants me to say her name, um, so I won't. She was sexually harassed in high school. She was taking a ceramics class. I guess I'll just read what she wrote um, about this situation. There was this one guy in class that made me uncomfortable. It started innocently enough. He would come over to my work table and had and gave me little hearts made of clay and said I was pretty and asked how a girl like me could be single. But then it got uncomfortable. He would stand too close and make awkward comments. He'd come over and say, what are you making? It looks like a frog, a slimy frog, in a suggestive voice. One time he was behind me and I heard one of my friends saying, dude, get away, don't you dare touch her. When I got home that day, I found clay dust fingerprints on the seat of my jeans. I struggle with anxiety and social interactions can nearly 
can be nearly impossible. The best way I can explain it to someone who doesn't understand is the physical feeling of can't. I often find it hard to respond to people and he was no exception. I ignored him though. It went from politely turning him down in a timid whisper to just flat out ignoring him, but he just didn't get it. One time I had to go into the supply closet for something and he actually followed me in, shut the door and blocked it. He asked if we could start over, to which I shook my head and rushed out of the supply closet in a state of panic. Finally, one day I witnessed him throw a pencil on the floor in front of my work table and proceed to get on the floor and crawl um, under my table to pick it up and coincidentally attempt to look up my dress. I finally gathered up the courage to tell my teacher, sure that this would finally be enough to get him in trouble since all previous attempts had failed. Her response was, well, you shouldn't dress like that. You always wear skirts and dresses. Boys have hormones. You can't dress provocatively and then get mad about them doing things like that. I cried that night. It was all my fault. I will always, I was always well within dress code, but the, it was all my fault for wearing skirts. If only I dressed more modestly. If only I didn't have anxiety and could bring myself to defend myself even more. It was all my fault. Basically, after this happened, she dropped her class, even though it was her favorite, but she wanted to get away from this guy. It was not her fault, like she believes. It was not her fault. Girls should not be taught that they cannot wear tank tops and shorts and skirts and dresses because guys will get turned on and decide that they want something. I don't know. They have hormones. And a teacher should definitely not say that it is your fault. You should not wear dresses. Like, what is that? She never asked for him to do that to her. She never once asked him. And she told him no. She ignored him. And he didn't stop. We need to be teaching our boys to not do that. We do not need to be teaching them that it's okay because the girls were dressing provocatively. No, guys need to be taught not to sexually harass girls or rape them. We should not be teaching girls that it is their fault for wearing a skirt. Another thing, it really upsets me when people in the comments of these videos are forgiving because the guy looks like he's upset and apologizing. Uh, YouTubers are made to create a persona online. You cannot really believe everything that they say and I don't know if I believe him but even if he is sorry he still committed a crime and he needs to be held accountable and an apology should not be unlisted it should be out there for the entire world to see that he raped someone I don't know how to end this video I didn't know how to start this video and I don't know how to end it but I guess I just want everyone to know that I'm here for them if you've ever been assaulted or raped or anything I'm here for you um, and I love you, and it's not your fault. I really hope someone will learn something from this video. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think and just your thought process, and we can have a little conversation in the comment section. Alright, bye guys.